I'm using some new textures too. Uh, some of the this wheat texture, the sky box, they're all from a little taste of germ. Uh, my server mate on Realm of Vastin, uh, Germsy Boy, does some fantastic textures, and I asked him if it was cool if I borrowed some, and by borrow I mean steal. <laughs> so he said, "Yeah, sure." Um, so I'll. Uh, when I post stuff on YouTube, I'll have to remember to credit him in the description. Uh, but I wanted to do it here on Twitch as well. If you're just tuning in, my name is Joel Duggan, and this is the Citadel. And I'm going to land on this, which is a purper farm. <laughs> um, this is the first time I've been on in a long time. I took some time over Christmas and the holidays to just rest up, and then I got sick. You might be able to hear in my voice that I'm still a little bit under the weather, but uh, but yeah, so we're, we're back and we're looking for things to do. It's it's not super clear what is next because um, I've started a big project uh, in the South Meadows as I break my kneecaps jumping off of the Purper uh, factory. Uh, and it, it's not the best thing to do on stream. It seems to be pretty repetitive. I need a break from it myself, just mentally. So I think we're going to sleep and then we're going to decide what we're going to do uh i want to take a look at the main the main area the, the the main center of the world in the meadows and i'll show it to you on the map in just a second who here has the biggest mega hmm i'm not really sure what you mean blaze creeper thanks for stopping by though all right, uh, so we are currently in Dartmouth Meadows at my farm, and I think what we're going to do... Blaze Creeper's following! Thanks for joining the crew, my friend. Let's go into the nether. I need to fix these vine textures. These are terrible. Does the new vine textures for the beta 3.3 are not good. Thanks, BR Ranger. The, the chest textures are new. They are part of the picks from a little taste of germ. So those these are these are germs textures. Um, I don't think I have any trap chests. Oh look, there's a trap chest. Trap chests are darker. Um, you don't need them so much anymore in 1.13.2, but um but yeah, I, I do like them as well. He did a very good job on them. That's why that's why I thefted them. Um, but you can check up uh Germsy Boy on on Twitter. Uh, and and YouTube as well. I think it's just Jeremy Boy everywhere. He's easy to find. Um, so while we're in here, uh, what was I looking for? I wanted to go... Oh, hey. Where did you come from? I want to go to the center of the world because there's some changes that I want to talk to everybody about that I think we're going to be making uh, to the Citadel server, and I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, Germsy Boy on YouTube has the texture pack for download Blaze Creeper if you want to go check it out. So this is, uh, if I bring up my debug screen, the center of the overworld. This is 1-1 one, one, or 0-0. Zero, zero. So this floating, floating little black thing uh, is at the world's center. And after playing for a little bit on Vastin, uh, realizing that we've got some limitations here with some of these displaced chunks, and some of the things that I want to do just aesthetically in Minecraft on the Citadel. I think I'm going to take a page from the Realm of Vastin and we're going to change this area into a world hub. And we're going to use some command blocks and um, some imagination to create portals in every direction. So kind of like, you know, north, south, east, and west, and then maybe even like northeast and southwest and just the, the eight kind of cardinal directions and we're going to create different zones that uh, will exist on the Citadel server but they're going to be really far away so you're never going to have to worry about building out the meadows or building at one of these new worlds or realms and having them run into one another uh, so we can do like a sci-fi realm or we can do I don't know something like a I think that Matt Cass wants to do a um steampunk realm which i thought was really good i think it would be kind of unfortunate if we didn't do a medieval realm i, I don't want to do the cliche just kind of like castles and stuff though so maybe we could do like a fantasy realm or something maybe we can combine it with something else and make it make it interesting but as you can see this area is is pretty weird we've got these displaced chunks that happen all throughout uh this area 
and uh, we'll have to get rid of those if we're gonna make this build look cool. But what I wanna have is this be the centerpiece of it. So all of this will be likely filled in because I want to have either a large, I'm not sure whether it's gonna be like a courtyard or or just a building. I'm not sure whether we put these in a building, whether we put them out in the open. Um, I'd like to decorate each portal to kind of represent where you're gonna go, which could be kind of cool. Yeah, uh, Pixel Plague, I agree. These these things are neat. Um, sometimes we could turn them into a building, but for now, what I've been doing is getting rid of most of them because unfortunately there's so many of them. Like if you look over this way, check this out. Huh. There's just there's just everywhere. Like one time, there it's not a displaced chunk and it's a cool little Minecraft thing. And then other times it's these weird like pillars and buildings or reverse, there's like pits. Anyway, uh, so actually I'm glad I flew up here because you can kind of get an idea. So we do have quite a bit of solid ground to work with. It's only just this area here. And this could be easily turned into like an open, like maybe this is the entrance to this structure, whether it's a building or a temple or something. And you could fly in here with your elytra and land or come out of a portal and, and then take these new vanilla portals uh, to to various different places. So I, I think it could be really, really cool. And I'm excited about that. It's a huge project. It's it's similar in scope, I think, to our nether hub. Um, but for now, I have to kind of think a little bit more about what we want to do in terms of how, like where we want the portals to lead. And once we've got that sorted out, then I think we will be able to move forward with this project. I also want to think about like, how far apart they want to be like i feel like you know if you if you arrived kind of like where that portal is or somewhere around here out of another portal and then you had to run over to like maybe here or maybe even farther like i don't know i'm not exactly sure which um which direction we want these to go in whether we want them to be either like different heights and stuff like i, I haven't really thought that far ahead the cool thing is we're not going to be limited by nether portal design because there's going to be one nether portal but all the other portals are going to be uh player made they're going to use command blocks to send you to different locations using the teleport command so this should be really cool um how did the glitz glitzed chunks come about that's a good question uh it this world started off as a moyang realm and when we transferred it from moyang to uh cube toast which is the the server we're on now uh, the service, the host provider we're using, uh, this happened. Um, didn't break anything. Uh, it's just that a good portion of our spawn chunks um, are weird. I've removed a good chunk of them uh, near some of the other builds so they don't show up, which was kind of cool. But um, beyond that, they're just, there's this these weird, weird kind of things. We wrote it into the, like some story and had some fun with it. So it's good. It's good to kind of go with, run with the flow, you know? Um, seems like a neat landscape feature. Uh, but yeah, see, that's the thing I'll show you. Hold on. Let me, let me fly over Let me get my bearings here. Uh, that's the portal. Then it's this way. So the meadows, I believe are back this way. <clears throat> More chunks. Let's see if I can find my, my bearings here. Uh oh, I can't fly. Here we go. A little bit of lag. <laughs> Where am I here? Yeah, I need to go this way. So here is the swamp base, which means that the chunks are over this way. Yes, this direction. Uh, Wops, it was a, a transfer from the uh, Moyang realm to the Cube Toast server. So here's a good good example of some really messed up chunks. But if we fly over this way, we can see some of the ones that I have I have terraformed. Uh, yeah, these ones. So if we look over here, some of these all along here. This was all 
um, skyscraper weird chunkiness. Um, that's actually not um, an error. That's actually how Minecraft generated this world. Uh, but uh, some of these were really screwed up. And so I've taken the time to kind of terraform them a little bit. And it was a lot of fun. I learned quite a lot uh, doing this. And uh, it makes it look a lot better because when you're over at the iron farm, which is just over there, you can see you can see that it makes a big difference for the view. So if I land here, you know, like it just, it looks like a nice natural landscape minus the weird Minecraft floating island. But then if you look over here, I think at some point over by spawn and actually one of the big buildings, yeah, see it starts to render in there. And so that was the kind of thing, this kind of garbage is what we were looking at. Like all along here was this weird Minecraft skyscraper landscape. So I got rid of that. Uh, which was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun too. Uh, BR Ranger, no, it didn't come about from changing from 1.12 to 1.13, surprisingly. Uh, we've been playing in this world since 1.12 was released. So I'm not exactly sure what the cause is, but it was isolated and uh, it allowed us to um, just kind of continue with the world as opposed to restarting. So we we took it as a as a as an acceptable loss. Because there was nothing we could do about it. We couldn't get rid of them. Uh, so in terms of what we're going to do, um, I don't think I I'm, I'm not ready to start on that big, that big portal project. Go back in here. We could do some stuff out at the swamp base. Or we could work a little bit more in the south meadows. I think I'm leaning on, I'm leaning on south meadows. I need to drop off some stuff out of my inventory first though. Thanks for everybody that's stopping by, actually. This has been, it's a bunch of new people in the chat. It's good to, good to bring some new people into the fold. So let's sleep real quick and then dump our stuff. And I think we're just going to go maybe build some roads. Uh, oh, MacCast already did it. Cool. The single player sleep is working out great. We've got a bunch of data packs on the server too. Uh, let's see here. Let's get rid of this. Don't need the bones. Keep the bed. Don't need spider eye. Here's some more of the um, the trap chest and also the ender chests have got like a purple to them, which is cool. I'm gonna bring some dirt. Of course, dirt I'll need. Don't need gunpowder. Ah. Forgot to let Matt Kess know that I was streaming. <laughs> he probably knows, but you never know. I am not sure, Wops, uh, Switch, PS4, or Xbox. I have an Xbox 360. I've never owned a PS4 or Switch. I would just go look at the games, depending on what you want to play. I guess we can bring the gravel. Uh, I want to bring... I know I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to pick up at the sugarcane farm. My shovel's in good shape. What do we want to do for the path? Do we want to do like gravel and cobble or coarse dirt and maybe soul sand? Hmm. I want to do some brown, like a brown path or a... I definitely don't want it to be a boring path. I'm just debating on whether I want to do more coarse dirt or if I want to do if I want to do something that involves more browns. Hmm. Stones. We do a lot of stone stuff already. Yeah, you know, I think Hey, the Mac cast is in the house. Thanks for the sub, my friend. Happy New Year to you, too. Four months. Holy smoke. Cheers, man. Much appreciated. Uh, what was I thinking? I was thinking about grays or browns for the path. Well, it's stone right now, so the first part of it is probably going to have to be stone. 
coming off of the bridge. So we'll have to start with some basic, basic stone stuff. And I've got a stone box that I can bring with me. So we're good in that way. Oh, I just flew into a building. Skills are lacking. Crystal Alpaca, thanks for the shout out. Appreciate it. I'm glad you guys like the spawn chunks. So we're going to fly right past the inn. I really like what I've got going on here. I like this, this single... I'm going to add some texture to it, but I like this single uh, kind of slab top that we've got going to this wall. I think it looks really good. I just, it's, it's simple, but it works. I want to add a little bit more texture to the bottom, but all this is looking pretty good when you come down here. I moved the bridge over by one. Uh, if anybody caught my last stream, you know that I was struggling with how to handle this. Uh, and I've managed to sort it out. And I think I'm going to put a build here as well. But right now what I want to do is kind of sort out where this path is going uh, on the way back down here. So we've got, this is going to come out and it's going to go continue on past this, go down this way. So let's just, let's just see, where's a good, hmm, to get higher. Cool, thanks for stopping by, Purple. Knitting. Interesting. I used to know how to knit. That's a fun, fun fact about me. So yeah, I think I like going around that tree. That's a good idea. And I feel like this path is going to have to go probably take the low ground. It's like, I don't know if it's going to go up here or maybe it would go down this way. Eight hundred and ninety nine bits. Thanks so much, BR Ranger. For some of your shows. Well thanks. This is some weird terrain here. All of this of course is gonna be kind of flattened out a little bit, but I like I feel like that's for moving villagers, but I feel like the low ground is where the road would go. I don't think it would go I don't think it would go up here. I like the idea of going past this, not over it. Because anything that would take the path of least resistance, right? So if the road was to come down here, we could probably keep this and turn it into some sort of little pond, especially because it's got two sides to it. And then where else could we go? Well, we'd want to go, is this a cave system or is just, this just a big old hole? Interesting. I guess at this point, we just kind of lead it right into, right into the village. It's kind of straight. It's the only thing. But, I mean, I guess most roads would be fairly straightforward. I want to put a farm over here. I want to put a, a big a big farm over on this side that you can see from the road. So maybe, maybe we do want the road to be a little bit higher. Because if it's down there, you're not going to be able to see much. Unless we put the farm up on a hill. Put the farm up there, maybe. Hmm, okay. Well, I think we know we know where we have to start, which is back here at the bridge. And I'm not entirely sure how long this bridge is going to be, so I'm just going to leave it as is. We can always mess with this a little bit because I believe we have got some play. Yeah, we've got lots of room to play with there. Okay. I do need to go grab my, my other shulker boxes, though. Uh, we're going to need this, and do I need, oh, going to need that, don't need that, definitely need this, let's just take, let's just put everything back, I'm sure it'll be fine. And that goes there, okay. So I have everything else I need. I don't need to bring any of that with me. Cosmic Dancer has been has been renovating a village down there and Matt has built her a church, which is really cool. So that's what all this was about, was trying to connect the main meadows to, to Cosmic's church and her, her village.
So right away, this is the same width. Couple of those, and it's the same width as the bridge. So we'll be able to give this a bit of a, a landing, I guess, It'll be the first thing. And for that, I'm going to need some bricks. Stone bricks, and we'll grab some stone too. Let's just do this. I think that's how it went on the other side. And then from here, we can just do a straight up I think five should be good for now. Whoops. So does anybody have any custom recipes on their um, on their servers because I'm looking to add some to the Citadel and I'm looking for some ideas. I know I want to add like a coarse dirt slab, which I think would be really cool. Again, stealing that idea from Jersey Boy, but uh, I'm curious as to what other people are are using. Now I think I want to leave this here because it's unexplored down there, and I, there's like a ravine and some caves, so I want to leave that kind of as it is. I think I maybe want to push this back a little bit. Let's try not to do any straight lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can do come up like that. I'm going to have to put my bed down here in a second now that I am alone on the server. I really like this guy. If this wasn't such a mob haven, I would I would stay up late and let you guys see this guy because it's it's really cool. Ink sacks are premium on your server, so three coal blocks plus a seagrass to get four ink sacks. Actually, that's really cool. We had an ink farm here. Um, but it broke because it wasn't built in a um, river biome and we have not yet remade it because we got so much ink from it that um, we haven't needed to yet, but it's on my list of stuff to kind of sort out. Um, how wide do we want this path to be? I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be super thin. I'm thinking maybe have any coarse dirt? I do. Maybe five. Yeah. And then I think I'll move it over. I don't want it to go that thin that fast though. So we'll have to come up with something else here. So one, two, three, four, five, let's do three. Another three. Joel seems very busy with <laughs> three brilliant podcasts. Wow, thanks. <laughs> I'm not sure how brilliant they are, but yeah, it does keep me busy. Yep, if you, uh, if you are a pancake person or if you like food, then my Instagram is definitely the place to be. Uh, I need some coarse dirt. Where's my landscape box here? Don't have very much of it. Do I have gravel? Got some gravel. Just make some more. Did I just do that with regular dirt? No, it's coarse dirt. Okay. 
feels a little bit better. Thinking maybe we can keep it like one, two, three, four, five, six. We can keep it six for a little bit. And then after that, we can get it thinner again. And I'm going to come through and maybe add some more some more textures to this later. I just coarse dirt is something that I tend to use a lot of. So if I have to make a lot of it for now, it's not the end of the world. And for some of this, we're probably going to end up using path as like a temporary temporary block. Just to try to get this in here. So I think after that, this stuff I think we're going to put in as bricks too. Getting a weird strobing effect on my monitor. I don't think it comes up on stream, but it's something that happens when I stream with OBS. I don't get it when I play without streaming, and I don't know what it is. I think it's my my system just not being able to keep up, but it's frustrating. It means I won't be able to play as long. Uh, more bricks. Nope. And again, I can come back and add texture to this later. I just kind of wanted a place where once you get past these two pillars, kind of define these a little bit so that when you're on the bridge, I want there to be something cool to look at. So coming through here, you kind of want the path to kind of like curve up and, and make a nice scene. So I'm gonna keep this high on this side, push that back on that side. And I think we're going to go down again to five here. Maybe like this. One, two there means that maybe offset that by two. I do find when I was working the other uh, coarse dirt path that when I was trying to lay it out quickly at first, the grass was growing so fast <laughs> that I couldn't keep up. So that's why I decided to use coarse dirt. It's kind of like as, as an in-between. Yeah, framing the view, PR Ranger. That's exactly what I'm going for. Magpie Tear, you're saying that your, um, <clears throat> excuse me, your squid farm was in an ocean or, or that your, sp oh, your spawn, your spawn points in an ocean. Yeah, no, that's, that's a problem for squid farms. Um, so let's see here. Let's do this, this curve. So there was two there. <clears throat> Sorry again for the, the frogginess in my voice. I'm still not quite 100%. I've got more grass and dirt that I know what to do with, so I'm not really worried about how I'm placing those. So let's do more of a subtle change here. Let's do two. Let's do two at a time. Like that. Like that. And then we'll do another two there. Two there. And this is where I think we can probably, at this last part, we can kind of come in one. And then that way. That way at the end, it'll be uh, it'll be a five wide path. If we just do this. We just keep keep on going with this pattern here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, cool. It 
So for this, I'm probably going to do mostly path block just for now, just because it's going to be cheaper. Uh, the holidays were good. Uh, thanks very much, Matcast. Yeah, they were. Uh, it was short. I had to work a little bit. Um, we had a sale going on in the Forge Publishing shop, so I had to kind of attend to that. But uh, other than that, it was good. Uh, got some new kitchen stuff because my whole family knows I like to cook. I got some casserole dishes and some new utensils and things, and it's good. Did everybody else have a good Christmas? It's funny, Christmas feels so long ago, I've, I'm forgetting to ask people that I haven't talked to in, like, ages uh, how their Christmases were. Yeah, so that's going up in that direction. Let's put this out here. Whoops. I'm just going to be all over the place today, I can tell. Just trying to put in some stuff here. So this, yeah, well, let's not put that there. Let's maybe push some of this back. I don't want these stairs to be straight, though. I feel like... Yeah, okay, let's do that. Stand mixer, wife. Got my wife in an immersion blender, kitchen scale. Oh, very cool. Nightbot is chatty because Nightbot is on a timer. And unfortunately, you can't offset the timer. Or at least I don't know how to do it. And I'm putting blocks back that I don't want. I want coarse dirt up to that point, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. It's pretty good. And then we'll have the other step be almost square. I wonder what it looks like if I remove this one. If it's a little bit too steep. Yep, it was better. Better with that there. So this is now our five. One, two, three, four, five. And so we can have that kind of curve off in that direction. So I think that's what Matt Cast intended. Go sleep again.